it is fun to do this. Like, it, just cutting, I could cut like Play-Doh just to hold yeah, it. Yeah, like just cut, cut that right there. Don't cut yourself, Josh. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Bing. Yeah, look at that. But I went through the bone. I didn't even. Yeah, right through the yeah, bone. I didn't like even, butter. Hi, I'm Josh Ozersky, and this is Ozersky TV, brought to you today by the Corin Trading Company. This, of course, is my friend Saori Kawana. You remember us getting drunk together at the store? <laughs> and uh, my friend Marco San, <clears throat> uh, Marco Canora of Hearth. And Marco is going to demonstrate how to use these magnificent Corin knives. And also, we're going to look at the knives. It's going to be like knife porn, the whole thing. Sorry, son. Will you explain to us what these knives are and what you're supposed to cut up with them? These are our favorite uh, knife lines. And this is from Masamoto, Japanese style knives for vegetable cutting. And this is a Togiharu line. It's a beautiful Damascus uh, blade. That's the Santoku, the Santoku everyday knife? Everyday knife for all purpose. And this is uh, from Masanobu, the beautiful Damascus braid with uh, like a, a Japanese style handle. That's the chef's knife? This is a chef knife. Oh, and uh, nice. this is a butchering knife. It's from Suishin. It's a heavy duty, good mm. for uh, butchering meat or <laughs> any. Uh, or people. People. <laughs> <laughs> this is the ultimate knife, is that correct? Museum collectible wow. knife. So we're not going to be cutting up a carrot with this thing. No, just this is <laughs> just for looking. Marco san, let's let's do the let's do the, the foods. Cut up the foods. Okay. So this knife is um a 70-30, which means it has a 70 degree angle on one side and a 30 degree angle on the other. And that's what makes it more Western style because a full Japanese knife is all one side. I mean, it's so clean. It slides through like, like nobody's business. Look at this. You don't cry when you cut an onion with a really sharp knife like this because none of the juices are squirting out because it's so sharp, it just slices the onion. So, Saori san, this is 100% Japanese knife, which means 100 degree angle, right? With a flat on one side. Yes. Using this knife, it's like you know, shutting the car door of a Mercedes or like putting on like an Armani blazer. Like it just, there's something about <laughs> it cool. that feels, it just feels right and it just feels like quality when you use this knife. It's amazing. And it's like such, such precision. Would you use so, the, the vegetable knife if you wanted to cut something that was like really hard and heavy? You know, we're in, we're in squash season right now, and I know so many people love to, love to deal with squash, but these things are very dangerous because they're kind of unwieldy, they move around. You know, the first thing I'll say is that a larger format chef's knife, all-purpose knife like this is kind of ideal for the task um, because of its size, because of the leverage you get from the length of the knife. Um, and you know this, this bottom part is hollow and this top part is solid. Um, so what I like to do first is just do one simple cut. Ready? I always thought peeling it with a knife works better. Um, and you could really, you'll be able to see how this, how well this knife works for this job. The other important thing when dealing with squash or anything like this is that you wanna create, you wanna create a nice foundation so you create something flat, and then you put the flat side on your board, and now you have uh, more control over, over cutting it however you want to cut it. What we really <clears throat> care about, of course, is meat. is meat. And that brings us to a whole nother knife, if I'm not mistaken. So this is a Yodeba, and this is 70-30? 70-30. Okay, and you know, the thing that you realize as soon as you pick up this knife is how heavy it is. I mean, it's got a really, big chunky handle. It's got a very thick spine that's metal and that's where a lot of the weight comes from. The back of this spine also is very thick so that the, you're talking about a lot of weight. I mean the the difference here this is almost double the, the weight of this guy. So I'm gonna do the standard breakdown of the chicken um, so we create wing. Did you know that wing Here's an example of what this knife is all about. I'm going to be cutting through these rib bones right here. I'm gonna put the, the knife through here and it's gonna come out this end. 
and I gotta pop through these bones. So watch how easy it is. Look at that. It's like yeah. very, very little pressure. I like to take this little nub off because then when you cook it, the meat shrinks off the bone and it, it like it's like this perfectly uh, clean bone when you pop it. So this will make really light work. So you use the back part of the heel right here because that's where a lot of the weight is. And with one quick little, look at that. With this knife, look, you can see that that bone, there's no splintering at all. It's completely clean all the way around. Well, Didn't that's splinter awesome. the bone. That's yeah. really cool. In Japan, they have very specific knives for very specific tasks that you come across in the kitchen. And I really love that about it. And for somebody who does it for a living, who enjoys collecting knives, like there's only one place to go in New York City, and that is Corinne. That's you. They have everything there, great service. Um, it's just, I want to spend my entire day at that place. Marco Canora, the chef at Hearth Thank Restaurant, you, one, of our, one of our favorites. And of course, the one and only Saori san, Saori Kawano, the owner and proprietress of Corin Trading Company. I'm Josh Ozerski. And this is Ozersky TV.